Yo, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Machines Untold Wolf. Today, I brought to you a new series, which is the off-road testing series, where we take off-road vehicles and we test them on this track, which is brought to you by Digital Car Addicts, which, that way you guys do know that I am not stealing this from. No, I don't did tell him that I'm using his track or anything, but, again... It's a really good track, and I feel like using it. And obviously, I'm going to shout him out too because, again, I am using something of his for now. But as you know, he didn't technically create it, but I'm assuming one of his creators did. But anyway, let's uh, get into this. And if you haven't checked out Digital Card, let's go check him out. But otherwise, let's get into this. So obviously first is going to be the Riata since the Riata is my favorite. And whatever scores it gets right now, it doesn't mean it's going to keep them scores. Obviously it all depends on my perspective. Everybody might have their different opinions. But obviously since I've been driving the Riata for a long time, I know how this thing drives. And I know how it handles. Otherwise, this is our first track. This is our first test where we have to see how far it does climb. So we're going to full throttle and then we're just going to let go of the throttle. So I say it gets. Um, I want to say it gets overall. I want to give it an 80 for that one. So for this jump, they get to 80 for me since it did that pretty good. So 88, 1 out of 100, so I get to 80 on that one. And alright, for that, it is going to get a rating of 1 out of 100, it's going to get a 50. It didn't do it as good. That's the real other struggle, but it don't like going up hills steep hills like that. It likes to pot wheelies where you can't control it. Otherwise the downhill testing so we're gonna see how good it does break. So that will get a hundred that will get a one out of a hundred. It's gonna get a rating of one hundred. It did that like a charm. So this is the climbing thing. Tail goes around rocks. And for that, it's going to get a 100 for me. So, that's, that's 100 for me for that one. So this is going to test how good the uh, the suspension will flex the side to side, I'm assuming. For that little bit, it gives 100 for whatever that's supposed to be. And then I know this is supposed to be like a bumper clearance thing. And obviously it gets a hundred for me again. Alright, this is checks the suspension flex. I say overall, I think it's gonna get like a 90. That's that's a pretty good rating. So next we drive over to the deep water test to see how good it's gonna handle in the water. And oh wait, we got this little bit with it tests the suspension, so it did that just like a charm. It acts like there's nothing going at it, and just drive to this bit. So this is the water testing. This side is not so deep water, and that side is really deep water. So let's get into it. And for that bit, it'll be the same thing. And the main thing that helps this truck out is the wheelies. The wheelies make this truck seem better. So the next bit is going to be a 0 to 60. So, let's get into it. After I drive over, and I will give you guys the view of driving back to start right here. So obviously this is going to be a... We'll technically see all, how long time it takes to get to here to the finish line. So let me get my 
stopwatch already and go so this one gets a to where the end of the bridge is to this thing a 21 second time on a dirt track so overall I say this is well definitely number one for right now and I don't think there's going to be anything that could beat the, the Riata but you never know but anyway that is going to be the end for today otherwise if you guys haven't bought the Riata, definitely buy it. It's a very good off-road view. But otherwise, it's the end of the testing video for today. And I hope you guys have a good day. Peace.